Welcome to our channel, where we share with you all of the incredible places to visit on this planet. If you're new here, we know you'll enjoy it, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you for returning. Here we go, without further ado, Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas, they say. And when you consider everything the state has to offer, it's easy to see why the Lone Star State is so popular with visitors. Texas is brimming with breathtaking landscapes, significant historical sites, diverse museums, pristine city parks, suburban shopping meccas, mouth-watering barbecue, and much more. So let's dive straight into the topic of our video, Best Places to Visit in Texas, USA. San Antonio, because of the variety of options available, sightseeing and shopping along the river walk is popular among both locals and tourists. It's difficult to get bored following the colorful path of this waterway, which includes historical attractions and local restaurants. Austin, the capital city's vibrant personality elevates Texas to a whole new level. Austin has a lot to offer in terms of culture, cuisine, and natural beauty. Expect to enjoy unique outdoor areas such as Zilker Metropolitan Park, home to the natural Barton Springs Pool, various museums, and plenty of delectable barbecue while visiting. Sixth Street is the best place to soak up Austin's contagious energy. This music district is densely packed with bars, restaurants, and live music venues, which have helped Austin earn the title Live Music Capital of the World. Houston, Houston, known as one of America's top barbecue destinations, provides visitors with a finger-licking good time. But did you know that Houston is also a cultural center? Within the urban sprawl, there are numerous museums to visit, ranging from NASA's impressive Johnson Space Center to the quirky Art Car Museum. Many of the city's restaurants and shops have Instagram-worthy murals as well. South Padre Island, Texas, believe it or not, has some spectacular coastlines, with South Padre Island being one of the best. South Padre Island has 34 miles of relaxing beaches along the warm Gulf of Mexico waters. While the island is known for being a popular spring break destination, it is also popular with families during the rest of the year due to its affordability and abundance of family-friendly attractions. Visit Sea Turtle Incorporated to learn about local sea turtle rehabilitation efforts, or relax at Beach Park on Isla Blanca on a hot day. Galveston, Galveston, about 50 miles southeast of Houston, draws Texans looking for a convenient place to spend time at the beach. Stewart Beach, which has lifeguards, volleyball courts, and a playground, and Pleasure Pier are two family-friendly spots on the island, which features an array of games and rides. Away from the sand, visitors can explore the Strand, a national historic landmark, with shops, restaurants, and nightclubs. Other historical sites worth seeing include the Bishop's Palace and the Moody Mansion. Corpus Christi Corpus Christi has several scenic beaches and must-see attractions that will keep you entertained for days. McGee Beach, with calm water ideal for swimming, and North Beach, with family-friendly amenities such as a playground and a Ferris wheel, are popular stretches of sand in this Gulf Coast city. The latter also houses two of Corpus Christi's most popular attractions, the Texas State Aquarium and the USS Lexington. Mm -hmm. 
Waco, Waco, located roughly halfway between Austin and Dallas, attracts a wide range of visitors. Cameron Park is a 416-acre green space with hiking, mountain biking, and horseback riding trails, as well as the Cameron Park Zoo. Meanwhile, shopaholics and Fixer Upper fans will enjoy Magnolia Market at the Silos, a Chip and Joanna Gaines-owned property that includes a retail store, a garden, food trucks, and a bakery. Palo Duro Canyon The Palo Duro Canyon, the second largest in the United States after the Grand Canyon, cuts through the Texas High Plains region. The exposed red rock creates a stunning sight, but the canyon is more than just a void. It was also the home of Native American tribes such as the Apache and the Comanche. The park is teeming with wildlife, so as you hike the miles of trails, keep an eye out for Awadad sheep, white-tailed deer, and even mountain lions. In and around the canyon, you can also ride horses and eat chuckwagon food. El Paso El Paso is located in the far western corner of Texas, right on the Mexican border. This destination, also known as Sun City, offers breathtaking views of the sun setting over the Franklin Mountains every night. El Paso has many wonderful attractions, including the Chihuahuan Desert Gardens, the Museum of Archaeology at Wilderness Park, and the Centennial Museum. Don't miss out on the chance to hike along the El Paso Mission Trail, picnic in the shadow of McElligan Canyon, or drive along the scenic Trans Mountain Road in El Paso. Trips across the border to Ciudad Juarez were once popular but have become too dangerous due to drug-related violence. Dallas, Dallas, the state's third largest city, accounts for a sizable portion of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Dallas is most famous for the assassination of former U.S. President John F. Kennedy. The Sixth Floor Museum is dedicated to the assassination and is located in the same building from which Lee Harvey Oswald fired the shots. Because it has more stores per capita than any other American city, the city is a shopper's paradise. For some local Texas flavor, you can also visit one of Dallas' many amusement parks or attend a local rodeo. Fort Worth Fort Worth, also known as the City of Cowboys and Culture, is a rougher version of its larger neighbor Dallas. The Stockyards National Historic District has the most visitors of any area in the city, its old wooden buildings make it look like the set of an old western movie, but it also has plenty of modern restaurants, bars, and shops. Visitors should make time to visit the pedestrian-friendly downtown, which boasts a 4.3-acre water park, a beautiful theater called the Bass Performance Hall, and an excellent array of dining options. Lubbock Lubbock, located on the plains of northwest Texas, has fascinating museums, a thriving nightlife scene, and some of the best wineries in the state. Visitors interested in the life and music of legendary rock and roll musician Buddy Holly can visit the Buddy Holly Center, which houses an excellent collection of artifacts and mementos. The West Texas Walk of Fame, which includes a statue of Holly as well as plaques honoring other local musicians, is another worthwhile stop in the city. Lake Travis. Lake Travis, one of the lakes on the Colorado River in central Texas, is 4.5 miles wide and a piece of paradise for visitors of all ages. The lake is 18,929 acres in size and draws a large number of visitors all year. Parks, lodging, boat rentals, zip lining, water parks, live music events, breweries, and even vineyards are all located around this beautiful lake. Mount Bonnell, are you afraid of heights? Listen to us out on this one. With a name like M.T. Bonnell, 
You might imagine this destination as a soaring slab of terrain painted with rocky slopes and soaring trees, but rest assured, the term mount is a bit misleading in this case. After all, this is hill country. Since the 1850s, this popular hiking trail inside Covert Park has dazzled Austinites with magnificent views. Visitors can hike up the trail to the peak, which stands about 775 feet above sea level, to catch the dazzling sunset or share a hearty picnic with friends. Even better, the top is located east of Lake Austin, making it ideal for leaf peeping. Parking and admission are both free, just make sure to check the Austin Parks website for details before you go, and don't forget your sunscreen. McKinney, McKinney, Texas, is one of the best places to live in the United States. It is Collin County's second largest city. The city is rich in history and has one of the most extensive historic districts in the state. Originally, the city was known for being the county's main commercial center. Farms, cotton mills, cornfields, churches, schools, and banks were all located in the older city. McKinney was initially viewed as a source of opportunity for its residents and the county as a whole. These are just a few beautiful places in Texas. Tell us in the comments which place was your favorite and which one you would recommend visiting. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. See you soon!